Welcome to Spotlight on Lee County. I am your host, Loretta Rose. Today, we are on location at Wacoochee Elementary School, where making success happens here. We're gonna take you inside on a journey you probably never had here in Smith Station. The students are talking about and learning about respect, fundamentals of a proper handshake, just basic life skills. So we're gonna take you inside because the mayor of Smith Station, Mayor Bub Copeland, is going to be here today to their surprise and we're gonna see how they welcome him. But these are techniques that are being taught here by the principal, Sin, and her staff. So we're excited to go in and meet some of the teachers and some other community leaders that may be here today uh, welcoming the students here as well. It's Spotlight on Lee County. I'm Loretta Rose. I'm getting ready to take you inside to Wacoochee Elementary. Thank you so much for having us. Now, what grade is this? Six. Six grades. So Y'all learning about sequences in math or sequences in? We're learning about adjectives. We're doing the adjectives. We're trying to figure out the adjectives. Context. Yeah, context. Where's the paper? Y'all, why am I here? What is y'all's initiative this week that y'all are doing? Hey, yeah. uh, I'll tell y'all something before I go, I'll take a second. But there's no substitute for good manners. And there's no substitute for good behavior. You can get a long ways in life by looking somebody in the eyes and shaking their hand correctly and telling them who you are. It doesn't matter how old you are, how short you are, tall, the color of your skin, the, the whatever, female, female, it doesn't matter. Just respect goes a long way. Especially when you meet an adult. And also when you spend time with somebody, give them an opportunity to, to learn who you are. Do, don't listen to respond. Listen to learn. Does that make sense? Because a lot of times when we're having a conversation, I'll ask you what you're doing. The first thing I'll do is cut you off and tell you how I did. You know what I'm saying? So if you're telling me something about your family that you like dogs, take it. I need the next question. My next question is what kind of dogs do you have? What is his behavior? And then down the road, I can tell you about my dog. Does that make sense? Y'all guys did very well. Thank you so much for having me. Did you tell them who you, did you tell them who you were? I think some of them were asking. Does anybody know who I am? I am the mayor of the station. <laughs> I am uh, I'm the guy that, that's kind of the chief executive officer of the city. We were told that um, there's all of you are leaders, but you're one of the leaders here as well. And we wanted you to share with us about the mannerism that you all are highlighting here for the month of February. So, and some of your greatest takeaway. Um, well, I'm, we're trying to learn respect. Many children don't know what respect really means. Well, because people usually bully people and don't know how to express their feelings. Mm. So, which is trying to learn respect here. I love that. And you know, respect goes a long way. That's something that should be a part of your life. And I love the fact that how 
you're talking about there are some that are being bullied. So you're helping to be that voice for the voiceless. What would you say to those that feel like they can't say anything? To never give up hope. Mm -hmm. I know that because I've been through it. Wow. Wow. Never give up hope. No, don't listen to those voices. Oh, wow. Beautiful. God bless you. I'm proud of you. I want you to say one more thing from your heart to the people that are listening, because it may be some teenagers, it may be some other students from another school that are watching, and they need that what you have and what you're sharing and what you all are learning here. We want to help the other students. Um, just don't give up. Never give up. And always learn new things. There's nothing you cannot relearn. Ooh. Because you, I, I forget very much but I still want to learn many, many things. What grade are you in? Sixth. Wow, sixth grader. This is what's happening here at Wakuchi Elementary School. Yes, you all can clap for your peers. <laughs> Anybody else have anything to say or you would like to say something to the mayor while we're here? You don't have to be shy. You have one of the greatest mayors in the world. Okay. Good job. Ah, I agree. Give him a hand. I agree. Yes, yes, yes. One more question. You want to say something about your wonderful principal? Well, how much pressure do you go through in everyday life? How much pressure do I go through in everyday life? That's a good question. Uh, I, I believe pressure is relative. Um, if you're prayed up, and I know, you know we're in a, a public education, but if you're prayed up and you're right, uh, God will help you. You just make the best decision you could possibly make and trust in the plan. Um, you got to move forward, you got to work hard, be respectful, and not much stress. You just do the best you can. And there's no substitute for love. You love on people, no matter who they are, mm -hmm. where they're at, that's, that's my, so I don't have much stress. I do the best I can, I get up, and I respond to what happens, and I try to move forward, mm -hmm. move forward, and it's, it's working. That's a good question. Great question. Yes, ma'am. Tell us your name. My name's Hannah. Is it hard being the mayor? Is it hard being the mayor? Uh, let me see. How can I relate it to where you would understand it? Imagine if you had a, a wildcat, a tiger, an alligator, all chasing you, and you had to make a decision relatively quick. That's probably what it's like. <laughs> 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 it, no, it's, uh, you know, you just... I want you to understand something. I sat in this classroom. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to tell you how long ago it was, but I had hair. And, uh, <laughs> I, was, I went to Wakuchi in the seventh and eighth grade, and uh, my goal was was to make a difference. Mm -hmm. Now, was I the smartest kid ever went through that Smith Station? Absolutely not. I'm probably the, the product. I'm the best product of a CD education that Smith Station has ever given. But I do know nothing substitutes hard work and caring. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to make a difference in my community. And given the opportunity and, and realizing what I wanted to do, now I'm able to make a difference. I was on the school board for 13 years, and I was one of the ones that was instrumental in building a new high school. And when I walk in there, my name's on the wall forever. And that's kind of coming from where you're at in this seat. I didn't treat you actually, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, coming from where you're at in this seat to uh, to there is, is what I've accomplished. And I want even one of y'all to come. There's probably a future president in this room. Absolutely. Absolutely. And just like Mayor said, someday <laughs> you all are going to be the leaders the same way. And just like he said, he once sat in these very classroom and these very seats that you all are sitting in. So this helps you to see a little glimpse of your future. We have any other questions before we step out? Great. You guys are so smart. Can you please give yourselves a hand? <laughs> Awesome. I you know, you're, I'm friends with your parents.
<laughs> We've got a squeeze here. Ricky. Right. How are you doing? That is the most mature question that's ever been asked of me. Well, I'm in my first term. I was on the school board three terms, and uh, I'm in my first term. I think I'm probably going to stay maybe one or two more terms. Depending on what the people want, you know, you got to be elected every four years. Um, you have not asked a question. Uh, what did you do before you were elected? I have three jobs now. I am a, I'm a mayor of a city. I own a, I own a grocery store, and I'm also a bivocational minister. I'm a Baptist minister. No, I'm asked to speak at least twice a week every week. Uh, the only week I probably don't speak is Christmas week, or when you guys are out. Uh, I do a lot with leadership class at Snow Station High School. Um, I talk to them about leadership. I give them opportunities where they can shine as leaders, and that, that's a good, good group that when you get a little older and you get to be a junior in high school, make sure you look to be a, in the uh, leadership class there at the school because it helps you become a better person and every kid in there has got a job. One kid just got appointed to West Point um, out of leadership class, which is very, very hard. Military academy, yes. Um, what do you think boost is in your party? What do I think the boost is? Yeah. That's a great question, but what? Well, I got to answer. I got to give you a little bit of history before I answer that question. How you doing, sir? Mm -hmm. um, when I took over as mayor, um, uh, our budget was around 300000 uh, this year we, we topped one million. So the boost of my economy, the boost of the economy is finding sources of revenue that were been out there before without taking advantage of your constituents, as well as bringing business into town. You know, we have a Love's Travel Stop coming. We have several other businesses that are coming. And those are tax bases, you know, that we generate revenue with. That was a mature question, though. Thank you for asking. Anybody else? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. What you uh, the country market up on Lake Hart. Uh, she had her hand up. That's why I said ma'am. And it was him that was asking the question. So my dyslexia. But I want you guys to know that I actually, I was I was at this school. Uh, I was telling Miss Sam from 30 years ago, uh, the classroom right over there uh, in Mr. Abraham's class. And I want you guys to realize that I was, I was a CD student. I'm not going to lie to you here. I was all A's. So I chose, there's one or two choices in life. You can either be very smart or you can work very hard. And uh, I chose to have to work hard. But I'm, I'm relatively smart as well. After a while, I said, you know what, i got to get serious about this. So the main thing is, is what you're learning this week is respect. Respect. That will get you far. There's two things in this life that will get you far. Education and respect. So, and don't think, the attitude that, that young people have today is everybody's out to get them. Everybody's out to get them, the me generation. The more people you can help, the more people will help you. Does that make sense? The more you give of yourself, the better off you'll be. That's something you need to listen, learn to right now. So in other words, if you see somebody in the hallway that's struggling, help them. If somebody doesn't have a piece of paper, help them. And in return, they will help you. That's the only way you'll ever be successful is to give yourself away. Uh, I know you're wondering <laughs> why we're calling you out. You could stand up. Okay. We understand, and we're going to let you be a voice to other schools and then the community to let them know about the mannerism yes. techniques you all are learning here. So it's all about respect and mannerism and sharing the importance of the power of a handshake. We want to let the community know what you all have learned, what you're taking away. So you're going to speak on behalf of your class and to let them know what you have learned about it and what you're going to take away in and what has it how it has changed your thought if you can answer that for us so we uh, about the respect we have to respect other adults uh, family members even if they're little and they get on their nerves you still got to respect them mm -hmm. and like and they follow you even mm -hmm. if even if they're big they follow you and lick that's what leadership's about to me. And then respect is not calling people names, not getting in a fight, of having fun with other people and not and respecting other elderly or adults. It's powerful, absolutely. And you know, e yes, give him a hand, awesome.
yes, that your peers agree with you. And that is absolutely true, even as adults, even as children, even as adults. You may not always, we may not always agree with one another, but we still got to respect one another. How about the handshakes, you have to give a good, firm handshake to whoever you're looking, say your name, direct eye contact, and got to get that good squeeze and a good, firm handshake. All right, can I have one? Oh, wow, he got it. <laughs> Thank you, Zane. Thank you all. You all are wonderful. Give yourselves a hand. Hello, oh, really? my name is Ada. Awesome. Thank you. Well, Thank you. Well, I'm Rafe, and this is Walker. Nice to meet you. Hi, my name is Kai. Nice to meet you. Me, Everyone's shaking their hand today. Hello, my name is Ashley. Welcome to the conference. Thank you. Loretta Rose, nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. We just caught up with Miss Jennings walking through the hallway, and her students have just greeted Mayor Copeland. And I wanted to talk to you briefly before you all go into your classroom about how this process has been with teaching them the firm handshake, how to greet someone, how to give a smile, because it was just so uplifting just to for them to greet us with smiles. Yes, absolutely. So at the beginning of our process, it was very unnatural, it was very uncomfortable, and so one of the ways that we started adding this into our daily culture was that we would greet one another at the door, and that started with teachers standing at the door, making sure eye contact, firm handshake, making sure that we assert who we are. That's the most important part of a greeting is to make someone feel welcome and we're so excited that that was how it was received by yeah. you as well as all of our other guests. For kids to be able to look an adult in the eye is something that they don't get a lot of opportunity to do during their daily interactions. That's not really something that is necessarily expected from society anymore, but it is something that is extremely impressive. And in preparing our students to go out and be global citizens and interact, um, and be successful, some of those soft skills are important to set them up for success. Absolutely, and that's what we see here at Wakuchi is that the students are being prepared for success. Ms. Jennings, you all are doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you. You're watching Spotlight on Lee County. Everybody say bye. Bye. And when, now we're talking to Coach Glisson, head football coach at Smith Station High School. And I wanted to get his reaction to how was it to be here today, having handshakes with the students here. They're welcoming you to the school. Isn't that wonderful? That is. And, you know, I think it's a great thing that uh, Miss Sin and, and the staff here is doing at Wacoochee that they're teaching these young people how to greet people properly and how to look them in the eye and introduce themselves. And, you know, that's a skill that, that we all use every day throughout our adult life. And so I think it's just outstanding. And, and the kids really are, are, are amazingly good with it because I know they're a little nervous, you know, with adults, but they, they still, they shake your hand, look you in the eye and tell you who they are and welcome you to their school. And that's, that means a lot. And, and, and they're so excited to have the head coach of Smith Station High School, the school that they once will attend. And to have a leader to take the time like this, it means so much to the children. Oh, sure. And Miss Sin sent, sent me an email and, and, you know, and I was all for it. I told her I would definitely come see her and, and, and see these kids and shake their hands. And, and it means a lot to us, too. It makes you feel good you come out here. And, and you know, the kids are really excited to see you. They're really excited to... Uh, interact with you and, and it means a lot to them it means a lot to us as well absolutely and we appreciate all you do with the students as well god thank bless you. you thank you for so time. the community is welcome also to come and have handshakes with the students here the students will love it so we're inviting all of the city officials leaders former athletes all of them you all are welcome it's spotlight on lee county and now we're going to end the show with principal sin we want to thank you for inviting us, inviting the community, the mayor, letting us know about this. I think it's so wonderful. The thank kids you. love, and I call them kids because I'm a parent. Yes, I understand. I understand. <laughs> they love the mayor. Mm -hmm. They love the leaders that come here to take mm -hmm. time with them. Yes. Tell us why it was so important that you always have this with a proper handshake and um, having leaders to come into the school in the month of February. Why is that is so important? Well, um, in my classroom 25 years ago, 
I started doing a manners and etiquette unit during February so that the students would learn um, proper etiquette things as far as dress. My boys learned to tie a tie. They learned table settings. Um, and so for the past few years, we decided that the whole school could do that. So tomorrow is one of our dress your best days. So all students come dressed their best for their Valentine's party. We build it around that. Um, but during the month of February, they learn to, like I said, set the table. Boys learn to tie a tie. Well, the girls are learning to tie the ties also. So we added the element of the power of a handshake this year. We had seen a, a news article on that, so we kind of piggybacked off of that yeah. because there is such a missing piece in society for students knowing how to greet and talk to people in general. Absolutely. So it has been a very rewarding experience to get the children to learn to look you in the eye, firm handshake, and just tell us your name. So they are practicing and we hope to continue it beyond February, but the uh, emphasis as far as inviting guests into yeah. the building has been for February and students are supposed to be ready for the guest. Yes. And so oh. we've initiated every classroom has a greeter, yeah. um, but all students are learning it and so they're getting the opportunity each day as we walk through. Yeah. And so as the, like I said, the mayor, We've invited the coaches, the school board, um, our Lee County Central Office personnel, uh, Senator Tom Watley. We've just invited um, various people in our area to come in and greet. So. Wow, you're really helping them to get basic life skills. Mm -hmm. These that's, are basic life mm -hmm. skills that will be a part of your mm -hmm. life forever. Well, and that's what <laughs> I, I told them. I said it's important to read, it's important for math, but as you get older, when you meet people, yes. looking them in the eye, being mm -hmm. confident, and shake their hand mm -hmm. firmly, mm -hmm. and um, just greet them, and mm -hmm. that, that, that will carry them so far. But do you know how powerful that is? Because coming into the school, we're coming to highlight the students here, but just like Mayor Copeland said, they gave us more than... <laughs> oh, every day, <laughs> every day. More. And and like I said, we have personnel that stands at the front every morning. We greet the children mm. when they come in, but we've noticed so many might come in and heads down. Not, mm. So this has given them a purpose when they walk mm. in. So we're trying to build purpose in everything they do, purpose in their instruction, but purpose just in being here. Absolutely. So making that eye contact with students that sometimes might keep their head down yes, yes. most of the day has been, like I said, very rewarding for us as well. Absolutely. So. And also you're inviting the community for yes. other leaders to come in. Yes. I would love for you to invite them personally. Oh, please. If, if you are a leader or we're looking for distinguished uh, community members, anyone that might want to come in just to, to greet our students and that can help us teach them the importance of a good firm handshake, being polite, having good manners, and just knowing uh, proper ways to speak to people. And that is, um, that's, that's what we're sending out that invitation for. Well, the future looks bright here in Lee County, and I am super, super impressed and proud of our future leaders. You've been watching Spotlight on Lee County here in Smith Station. Thank you.